To go and prove, whoa, whoa there. Uh, I need to prove the cosine of 2x. All right, so we saw a trick with the sine, and we can break this up so that we get the cosine of x plus x, because x and x is 2x, what's next? I want to use this guy. I want to use the cosine of the sum of two angles, the sum of these two, this a and this b. This is the cosine of a times the cosine of b minus the sine of a sine of b. Oh boy. Same trick. Everywhere I see an a, I'm going to put an x. Everywhere I see a b, I'm going to put an x. So this is the cosine of x, cosine of x, and then these are the same, so the sines are opposite. Minus the sine of x, the sine of x. What did I do? I replaced my a's and my b's over her. This okay? Okay. Cosine x times cosine x, what's that? Yeah, that's the cosine squared x minus sine squared x. the sine squared x. So what do you have? You have your first double angle for cosine identity. We're looking at, wait for it, the cosine of 2x can be written as the cosine squared of x minus the sine squared of x. All right. Now we want to create the other two. And how? We're going to use our Pythagorean identity. You want to solve the dang thing for sine or for cosine? Cosine. Solve it for cosine? All right. We'll do that right here. So then, we have the cosine squared x. This is that guy. Boom. The cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus the sine squared x. Is that fine with you? I subtracted off a sign for both sides. Okay. So that guy right there. He's going to be key. What are we going to do this key? We're going to un unlock the other two double angles for cosine. So there I can substitute in for which one? I don't care. I do care. What am I going to sub in here? 1 minus sine squared x. Yeah, for the cosine, I'm going to sub that guy. 1 minus the sine squared x. That's my new cosine of x, cosine squared x. And then I'm still going to be subtracting off this sine. Minus 2 times, no, minus the sine squared x. That'll be a fun part. Gather, collect, and combine. I'm combining the sine squared x, so I have 1 minus 2 times the sine squared x. Is that working for you? Now we have 2 of those. So I have the cosine of 2x. That's going to be 1 minus 2 times the sine squared x. Now, if we took this guy and we solved it for... This time, sine, I could go and call that the sine squared x is equal to 1 minus the cosine squared x. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So, I don't know. We did key. Put it in a small purse. Yeah. Because this one's going to be clutch. In finding our other one. Ah. So I can go and I can now take this one. Boom. I don't know. I'm a little bit out of room. I'll do it right here. So if I had the cosine of 2x, that's equal to the cosine squared x minus the sine squared x. Now, I'm using our tiny purse. It'll be clutch. And I'm going to plug that in here. This is the cosine squared x minus this quantity. 1 minus the cosine squared x. And then it goes, it goes, it goes. 
And then we have the cosine squared x minus 1 plus the cosine squared x. What comes next? Add them. Then we're going to add them. Those are alike. So I'll call that 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And that's your third double angle identity for cosine. Here, we'll put it right here. The cosine of 2x is oh, 2 times the cosine squared x minus 1. We're done.